started. It's Mike Lee and Taylor Crawford running for the ball now. We're seeing Mark here from uh, from Boston. Mike Lee has it across. Mike Lee rips it in an open hoop. Grab Lindsey Morellas from the Massachusetts area. Taylor Crawford is pressed again. Devin Lee and Tessa Mullins are taking over this game. Ian Skura beat out. Mike Lee in transition. Nobody stop him. Crawford steps up. Crawford misses a tackle. Uncharacteristic from Mullen steps high again. Lee finally losing exchange with Belitsky, and Mullins does as well. We said still playing up top there. He goes in behind Belitsky. Nobody stepped yet. It was a tackle by McCrady on K. It's going to open up a no budget situation. Doyle looking to hit the lane. His shot goes high. It's recovered by Crawford, who gets it to Skura. I'm playing in this particular game. Ian Skura down the right side. Flips one looking for Andrew Steinberg. Graham that uh, played official this year and had an absolutely incredible college season. As now New York's look, uh, sorry, Boston's looking to press. Michael Johnson's able to keep it on the offensive side. Now he's going to hit the lane. No bludgers. And Andrew Steinberg is in the way. Paglada to Freed. Freed zips one over to Potter. Beautifully passed. Beautifully finished. Greenhouse looking to run behind his beaters. Gets in the lane. Bounce pass to Steinberg. In the seeking game, one of the best seekers uh, for the Forge. Aaliyah Freed blocks a bludger. Gets over to Frank Minson. Minson hits a streak. He glints Morella. Lee back to Minson. Minson a lot of space here. Minson tries to drive. Land Dillman shuts the door on him. Up to Skura. More patient play out of Boston. Advantage being called in Boston's favor here. Skura in the lane. Definitely wants to get a shot off here while he has the advantage. And it's just so patient. Tyra Beckman getting some time here. And he makes the grab. That is why you put Tyler Beckman back on the roster. Passing option. Tries to go by Morella. Gets in the lane. Finds Bertram. Bertram puts it away. Down. Uh, this Havlin and Shu pair. Uh, exchanges in the budget game, all the budget on the ground. That's where John Jackson wants them to be. He goes right through, finishes with authority. Ball enough time for the rest of the offense to get in the play. Molly Potter goes completely unmarked, says if nobody's... <laughs> Dillman beats out Yonko. Greenhouse bringing it down. Greenhouse in the lane. Greenhouse has a shooting opportunity. No, goes to Skura. Skura finds Mayer. Mayer puts it in the near hoop. Brooms up again. We'll go through the rest of the starting laps in a second because we have brooms up. Crawford and Mike Lee running for the ball. Crawford coming up with him, looking to drive immediately. Fakes his shot to try to get someone in the air. Slips off of Lee, puts it through. Andrews looking to take an exchange with Lee. Lee wins that exchange. It's Beater, Bludger's on the ground and Jackson's going to get a chance to drive. Gets it over to Lee. Lee trying to go by Skura. Big wrap by Skura. He slips out of it, but the Rap from Doyle is successful, and the loose ball Manhart comes out of nowhere. For that second line, and Andrew Steinberg as well. Steinberg gets it all the way behind. Had three goals in game one. Zips one over to Greenhouse. Back up to Skura. Skura just looks to go right to the hoop. Now in the early portion, uh, New York coming the other way, though. Yeah, Yanko, a much-needed goal in transition there. Greenhouse now with the ball. Nobody stepped up yet. Lee gets forced in the air. Greenhouse gets almost all the way to the hoop before firing one past Yanko. Going to run Johnson. Has Minson in front of him. Just says, I'll do it myself. And Steve Blitzke, ooh, takes one off of Tessa Mullins. But no, Tessa Mullins, the strength. Meanwhile, it's a pass to Armin training. I think that beat might have bounced off Jordan Smiley. Morella gets pressed high by Doyle, gets across to John Jackson. John Jackson with a head of steam. We've seen this one before. We know how it ends. Lane, Skura gets a wrap. Lee gets it off, though, and it is Avery Oliver. They don't have a lot of depth at the secret game, as we talked about. Meanwhile, right size. Kellen Cupid has the grab. The catch is the good. The catch is good. The game is over. Kellen Cupid. We appreciate you sticking with us. We know we've had some technical difficulties. Bolitsky beats her. Now it's Skur in the lane. That is the connection that Boston loves on the offensive end. Round middle hoop shot is no good. Great eyes in the back of her head by Potter there. She pops it up to Jackson. Now Jackson has a no budget opportunity. He has not missed one of those all day. I think that's why you're seeing a patient, a more patient approach in game three. Mike Lee makes a wrap on Taylor Crawford, who dishes it over to Skura. Skura slips around Freed, floats one. Zach Doyle goes flying through the air. Two for uh, Boston. Floater across, Yanko gets up to it, marked by Athena Mayer, gets by her, rips one side-armed. I believe Max Havlin had the beat, goes over to Mayer. Mayer gets in the lane. Mayer hits the floater off the top and in. On the other hand, seems to be hitting everything. Yeah, speaking of which, Fenning is in the lane. Floats one over to Mayer. Not stepping out, now Mayer does. It's a blocked beat there by Leanne Dillman, but that does open up the space for Leo Free to finish on the near hoop. Uh, but he's going to lose budget control. Meanwhile, the ball gets driven to the hoop. And it's a pass across. Rachel Manhart gets her first goal of the game. Opportunity 
Not much of a shot there against the 2 zone. Max Havlin is not real life. Gonna create a goal scoring opportunity for Ryan Fenning the other way. Yeah, and that's the fourth goal uh, for Skura as Cupid comes up with the grab. Skura is now on the edge of the keeper zone, gets all the way to the hoops and makes the block. Pass goes over to Morella. Morella zips one to Yonko. What? I just want to highlight what Morella did there. Cupid, Mike Lee also jokingly called a coach of this team. Now it's Frank Minton with the ball behind. Okay, Lawrence is in the lane, finds Steinberg, but it's Leo Freed with the big hit, but it's Steinberg getting the ball off to Lawrence and Lawrence finishing. Boston with Steinberg out of the play, just not quite uh, taking the no bludgers opportunity. It's Mayer now. What a composed finish uh, as Boston uh, runs on the fast break. Steinberg down the other side. Steinberg for the win. And that will do it. The Boston Forge defend their home turf.